Hey guys, it's J19, brought to you in our video, and today we're going to react to this footage. It's 28 minutes long of the gameplay demo. Uh, I don't know exactly what they're going to show, but this is from uh, Game Riot. So, shout out to him, or them, for uh, having this on their YouTube channel. Um, I'll have the links to the description below for you guys to check it out. But I figured, you know what, I'm just going to get 16 stuff out of the way in a separate video, and I'm going to do my podcast tonight about the place and showcase what I thought of it and give my honest opinion about it. So with that said, if you guys want more Final Fantasy 16 stuff on my channel, feel free to like, subscribe if you're new, share with a friend, hit the bell notification to stay notified when I upload my next videos. With that said, let's just check this out. I got some information I want to break down of 16 as well. So a lengthy video for you guys. Let's go. One, two, three. Drop a little bit. I want to take it all in, make sure this is in the highest quality. 1440p, okay. I'll do 4K, that way it runs fine in my rig. I haven't seen this, so I've seen trailers and stuff of like that, but. It's looking good. Wow. Yeah, this game is very bloody. Wow. This game's looking and pretty impressive. you have not heard but the iron blood now have their own dominant we would be fools to underestimate them bugger their knights what did you say should this citadel be allowed to fall the capital will lie exposed wow and i doubt the crusaders will wait for the good king's pawns to line up before taking to the board Whoa! Uh, hang on, Beth. Hang on, guys. We got extremely loud in a hurry. Wow. This is impressive. There's nothing more powerful no, than No, I don't you. want commercials. Making okay, about that. Happen. Really good. Sorry about that, chat. Well, if you're not cut out to be a shield, there's always work for you in the stable. Unless, of course, you think you can defend your master while sat on your ass in a puddle of pig swill. <laughs> I'm sure you'd find a way. My brother always looks after me. <laughs> right? Go on. You're sure to hit him eventually. Oh, look at Torgo. <laughs> Two arms. It wouldn't do to disappoint the gallery. I've seen this clip a couple of times, but. You are a true shield of the flame, and let no one tell you otherwise. Including me. The game's looking impressive, guys. Holy crap. Like, their faces look great. Oh, I see what he did. It's all the little clips and footages from the pressers. Rise, my friends. Welcome home, Father. Thank you, Joshua. 
You are well, I trust. Yes, Father. Much better. Today, June and I went to the bay to watch Clive spar. Is that so? Is the situation truly so grave? Come to the throne room. We will talk there. Yes, Father. Your grace. Voices are so low. But sorry, I'm just I'm just taking it all in. This is looking very impressive, guys, for a PS5 game. And guess what? It's not the final build either. It's not the final build. Do shield so you can talk to NPCs. This is looking incredible. Holy crap. The music, so good. I'm going to be doing the same as that thing when I play the demo. Just looking around. Uh, active time lore. Yeah, I remember Easy Alley's talking about this. That's neat. That's neat. You can pull this up at any time, too. Yeah. I'm not going to read all this. I'll read all of it when we play the demo or when we play the first full game. Is the fight? Keep clear of its more, my lord. That thing's breath is worse than its bite. Oh, the voice acting is so good. They listen to, they listen to everybody. Like the numbers and stuff of like that don't it's not excessive like it was. It's looking very crisp, guys. Oh, come on, Clive. I'm supposed to dodge that. <laughs> I, I love the UI. I, I love it so much. Looks so good. Oh, we gotta skip ahead. He, he's ill. Oh no. Go towards it. Perhaps you can help. Sid asked me to make ready for our mission. How does one go about that here? Uh, well, uh, this old nun's place. Oh, hmm. uh, on second thoughts, uh, you maybe want to see Blackthorn first. A blacksmith? To the forge it is then. Oh, wait, no, hold up. You'll be needing this. Blackthorn the, won't take the lip sync is a little off, this. but this is an older build. Anyway. I just, yeah, I remember that. It's an older build. They had a whole year to work to optimize this, so. Game looks great. But voice acting, beautiful, beautiful voice acting work. Are you Blackthorn? What if I am? I'm no time for idle chatter. Doing a scan on my brain to see my stress levels and everything does. Yeah, not sound yeah, too yeah. Bad. I'm actually so. I'll do what I can, as a favor to Goot's mine. Crafting new gear, iron belt. And the belt sees a square. You want anything else? You bring your own materials. I'll bear that in mind. Thank you. Yeah, Clive is. He's not all about revenge all the time. They can see his character. In this state. It's no easy thing casting off your chains. By the time most pluck up the courage, they're already too far gone. These two here are the lucky ones. The name's Otto. You need anything? You ask me. Well, Otto, I do need some supplies. Do you now? Then Lady Karen over there will be more than happy to help you. Right.
I need supplies for my journey to Lost Wing. Otto said you could provide them. What's that? Does the newcomer think it proper to make demands of a poor old matron before even introducing himself? <laughs> it's Clive. <laughs> well, Clive, I hear that dog is yours. Since he followed Sid home one night, I've seen to it that his chin's rubbed and his belly fed. Though I suppose <laughs> that's your job now. Unless you lose him again. I can't wait to play this game. I cannot wait. Thank you for watching him. So, were you going to buy something? What? You didn't think I'd shower your lordship with my hard-won wares while you swagger about with a pocket full of gill? Life doesn't work that way, lad. <laughs> now, let's see some coin. Okay, so you can shop. They talked about this since uh, State of Play and Pax East, so we know about this. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Only 16 gil? Oof. Why are you barely a guilty your name? That's Fergal. You're taking his side now. And after all I've done for you. All right. All right, I can make an exception. But just this once, mind. My stores are getting cluttered and I need to make room for the next shipment. Thank you. Thank me? Thank your dog. Yeah, she likes Targo. She's got a soft spot for Targo, so good. Is this a, is that the bar they was talking about? With thunder's roll he knew his fate and his fate. Can be changed by accessing the orchestration. Orchestrion. Okay. So you gotta collect, don't tell me you gotta collect these, right? Not music CDs like in Final Fantasy VII Remake, but. Interesting. You all right? Never better. Sounds like it. Let's target. <laughs> that there is a fine hound. Soon took to hunting. Fearless as you like. It's good to have you back, Togo. Now we don't want to be caught in the forest after nightfall. I suppose not. Wow. This was good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. My my ans my uh, worries are answered. I thought these all these enemies got a health pool sponge. No, they don't. These mobs are dying quickly. Oh, so sick. I want my, my hands on the controller. I want to play this like. You're right, son. Oh. Love that wing move. At least we're skipping a lot. That's, I'm glad I'm watching this. It gives me a better idea how the game looks, plays. And uh, how battles, like battles, begin on their own. Well, the shrubs and things are so much better. Any one thing to mention this now? Huh. So yeah, this is early in the game. Just keep in mind, guys, this is not the final build of the game. So if there's some texture issues or some frame rate issue, they're gonna have that iron all ironed out before the game comes out. And we'll talk about everything about Final Fantasy 16 afterwards. About everything I know so far. Love what? Sweet.
man. I'm so excited. This is my game of the year. That's that lizard guy. Fafnir. Big boy. I'm, I'm loving this area. I love forests. Like, the forests and my like, snowy regions are my favorite. Yeah, you have Torgo help. Got a potion. We follow her upstream and we'll be in Lost Wing in no time. You do, right? In no time. Right. Oh, here we go. This is definitely the battle arena. He looks so good. I love the I love the uh, design of that monster. You better hope so. This shouldn't take too long. So much for your shortcut. Oh, Still the game looks so good. I, I'm gonna keep saying that, but. But it'll be a downside quicker if you help me. My thoughts exactly. Critics have been swept away. No, I don't care about mermaid. Oh, you stupid teeth crap. All right. It's like almost like Master Hunter in a way. Cool. Oh, they skipped a lot of the fight. Spinning cycle. Out. Now that was dope. That was dope. Wow. Game looks incredible. Holy smoke, guys. I thought God of War Riding that looks great, but this is this is starting to look fantastic. Yeah. Power to PS5, the Russian that moves with Clive. This is how I expect environments to look like in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. That's all I'm gonna say. This looks incredible. So we're not gonna fight. Sorry, right. I like I like the exploration. I like to just explore this whole area, just look at stuff. They can tell that a battle took place here. This is oh yeah, this is the bridge. They never finished building the bridge then. After what happened at Phoenix Gate, it didn't seem the highest priority. B for the jump. It's side quest. I like that. Side quest on the side of the road. Here, you couldn't give me an iron, could you? Typical. Bloody bearer. Just when I thought my luck had changed. Still, better a crumb of crystal than an empty hand, I suppose. Though it pains me to use another man's branded. Here, you understand me, don't you? I need your help. These blasted birds. The lip sync on NPC is a lot better than Final Fantasy VII Remake. A lot better. As it was. I've got something special needs delivering before the rest. But I dare not leave my cart untended. You couldn't run it up to Martha's rest for me, could you? Needs to get there a quick mind. Fine. 
That's the spirit. <laughs> All right. Why does that Please. say fine? You I'll do it. To the stable master and no one else. I'm owed a little something for it. If he gives it to you, pass it along to your master by way of thanks. Be off with you then. And don't go taking any detours on the way. What a bird wants. Prioritize quest. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. I like that. Wow. Company. I think the marsh is my favorite location so far. And that forest. So, yeah, those two are pretty sick. They're not spoiling too much. They're just giving you a couple of clips of like cutscenes, you know, characters talking, the environments. That's what I like. They're not spoiling the, the whole opening. This is this is fantastic. This is what I wanted. I should have reacted to this like days ago, but I didn't. I got so caught up with the weekend and stuff. Wow. Rogue City, all of the of the old ruins of the fallen. I mean, there's. I ain't gonna complain about the exploration because stuff's gonna catch your attention, right? And be like, hey, what's over here? Can I go see? Look at it. Wow. Looks impressive, guys. Looks damn impressive. Oh, here's this battle. Go get him, Torgo. <laughs> I'm loving the environments. Like, that's just, that's just selling me hard on this game right now. The combat, great. But it just the environments on the outside is like... There we go. Miles yeah, Miles Morales. Nice to see you, pal, but we don't have time for you. Oh, come on. Ah. So commercial, the ran it back 10 minutes. I mean, not 10 minutes, like uh, 30 seconds. Sorry guys, but I am not gonna like subscribe to YouTube Premium. I'm not paying that fifteen dollars a month, whatever it is. So my apologies for uh, the YouTube interruption with commercials. Um, this is looking great. Looks fantastic. Get him. So he's got Garuda. Okay, so he fought Garuda already. And of course he's got Phoenix. So he hasn't he hasn't got his Ifrit powers yet. Okay, three, I should say, not Ifrit. So he's saying Ifrit. Ifrit. Nice dodge. He dodged him in mid air. You can do that. Get him. Love that move, that's my favorite. Attack with fire. Oh. Big horn, he's not happy. I mean, he's a little spongy, but he's the same level as you. He's gonna be a little bit tough. And you don't have all your abilities yet, right? You got, you're limited what you got. So early in the game. Which is fine. It's understandable. 
just like it's just like Devil May Cry 5. There's some enemies that just take a while to kill. Of course, she didn't have all the health bars and the and the numbers popping up. Yeah, if he had Titan there, he'd be doing the the grand slam. I'm love I'm loving this fight. This fight is amazing. Right in the skull. Good that son. Goblin mugger. I love that move. Oh yeah. Sick combo. Nice dodge, precision counter, all that. The goblin looks way better than he did uh, in 2020. Yeah, he missed. <laughs> yeah, this is looking great, guys. I'm so hyped for this game. This is my game of the year, like I said. Because the how can have a game of the year? You haven't played it yet. Trust me. Just the gut feeling. The gut feeling I have. This game is gonna be amazing. Watch out, big swing. Not this time. Too slow. Not this time. Oh. Yeah, you gotta be careful of that. I'm glad you're here. One thing too to keep in mind, guys, is you, you don't have cure. You don't have magic. You don't have curing magic, so you gotta rely on your potions and stuff. But what I remember is you're limited. You're limited what potions you got. So you gotta either stick with Targo to heal you, which is gradual, or uh, you just have to learn the mechanic. Or you can put the, uh, the timely accessories on to make battles combat easier for you. I love that. Oh, another big swing. There you go. See, you can dodge every single attack. Yeah, Torgo, get him. And he's dead. Right here. That's his favorite finisher. Whoever is playing as uh, this B roll footage, that's his finisher. Right with a wing. Okay, those are materials. Got it. There's some chests. And sharp fangs. Cool. How many more minutes we got left? Oh, we're at the very end. I love it how you can juggle enemies, just like uh, Del May Cry 5. So sick. Wow. So sick, guys. Alright, well, um... That looks fantastic. That looks great. I am just so so excited for this game. Like I said, I'll have links for uh, the link for this down below if you guys don't want to listen to me chit chat over it. Um, it looks it looks exciting. It looks great. I can't believe it, guys. That we're like 24 days away. 
I can't wait to play this game. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this video, of this combat, the gameplay, a little bit of cutscenes we got. Sorry the voices were a little low, and uh, when we play the game, I'll make sure that everything's running smoothly high and, and we're all good. But this is looking incredible. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say below. Now, switching over to some Final Fantasy 16 news, right? Now, before I dive into the end game stuff, no, there's no, as uh, far as I know, there's no, like, spoilers here. They're not going to spoil the final boss, whatnot. End game, they're talking about the new game plus and stuff. But let's talk about what we know, right? We know about, we know that it's going to be new game plus. So it's going to be two difficult modes, difficulty modes. It's called Final Fantasy mode and Automa uh, Automaniac mode. Um, they're going to go through this with this. But now this game was, is inspired by ga uh, Game of Thrones. But here's the thing. I want you guys to all remember this. Yes, Game of Thrones ended up being banned towards like the second half. But they're talking about the good seasons. They're talking about the seasons that uh, people loved in Game of, Game of Thrones. It's also got a lot of God of War feeling to it. It's got a lot of like Final Fantasy XIV esque uh, Final Fantasy V job, job system. We covered that before. That's pretty sick. I can't wait for that. Now, what do we know about the game so far? M rated. Um, single player driven, a uh, single character driven combat. The AI is fully controlled, AI controlled. Uh, Torgo, you can give commands to. He does act on his own, um, which is cool. Uh, Real to Suzuki, he is the combat director designer for this game. Um, he did do like Dragon's Dogma, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. He did Devil May Cry 5, so if you guys love those type of games, you'll love this. This is his best work yet, he said. Um, now, let's talk about the elephant in the room, the demo, right? I, I called this months ago, I, or weeks ago. I said the demo is pretty much going to be probably the starting the starting spot in the game. It's going to be probably closer to the final build, and you're going to be able to carry over your save data. As of according to confirmed by the devs in a recent interview, they said... That, yeah, we're going to be able to carry over a save data to the full game. And, yes, it is the final build of the game and the demo. So, if you guys want to play that before the game comes out, it's going to be, like, a couple weeks before the game comes out. Um, we're all thinking it's probably going to be June 11th. I'll probably drop the demo then. So, we're having, like, a pre-celebration launch. So, that's going to be exciting. It's going to be exciting times. Now, I also want to talk about this. Final Fantasy 16. This ain't gonna have any airships. There's no airships in the game. They said because the power of the PS5 and what they're trying to accomplish, they are not going to have airships. Now, the boat you saw, the like, maybe it might be, uh, st you know, other transportation, but they said it's all in cutscene only. You're just gonna be walking around, running around, or you're gonna be using a chocobo, and that's fine. It's not open world. So remember that, guys. Not open world. You're gonna be traveling via the world map. Um, you select a, a location, you go there, and you're there. It's not it's not like a singly transition from one one place to the next. As far as I know, unless unless it's more out there. Um Final Fantasy sixteen also gonna have a few other things in it. I was trying to think of the top of my head. But uh yeah, it's looking very good. This game is looking very awesome. I cannot wait. Um, I'm super excited for everything this game has to offer. Oh, yeah, updates on the total hours of the game. At first, they said it's like 35 to 40 hours. I just remember this now. That the story alone is going to take you about 40 to 50 hours. It's long. It's very long. But it's a typical Final Fantasy game. They At first, they told us 35 to 40. But with all the cutscenes and all that, the combat gameplay and all that good stuff it's gonna, it's gonna take you about 40 to 50 hours so what does that mean by the full full again the 100 percent completion in this game i think you're looking more about 80 to 100 hours on it depends on skill level right if you're really skilled at these games you can probably you can probably knock out the 100 percent range in about 60 70 hours if you're real good at this game but like me for average and we're going to take our time playing this game enjoy it whatever it has to offer we're going to be looking at it by about 40, 50, 60 hours just for the story alone. Like, if we do a lot of side content, which I will, 
it's going to take us probably 70, 80 hours. So it's going to be a long series on my channel. So, especially on Twitch, not upload to YouTube. So we got that. Uh, Cutscenes are still going to be over 11 hours. So it's, it's longer than watching the all three trilogy of the Lord of the Rings extended edition. So keep that in mind. So, so we got 11 hours of cutscene. A little over 11 hours of cutscene plus side content. Compared to 40 to 50 hours of story. That's fine. I mean, that's included. That's only like a fifth, right? Fourth or fifth. Like only like a quarter. The rest of the time, you're playing a game, you're doing the combat, whatnot. So, that's what I want to confirm. I'm not going to look up any lore. I like, they talk about the lore of Val Valstia. I'm trying to go in there completely blind as possible. So, if you guys want more information on that, go to, like, Game Informer. They have a whole bunch of information you can click on. But, yeah, that's as far as I want to cover on that end. Let's talk about the the in-game, end-game stuff, right? So, Final Fantasy 16 Endgame, New Game Plus, Ultimaniac Mode, and more. Now, during our Final Fantasy 16 cover story trip, I played a few hours of the game, much of the press experience. But I was also given an exclusive tour of Final Fantasy 16 Endgame and other supplementary co content by creative director Hiroshi Takai, combat director Ryota Suzuki. It's safe to say there are plenty to play, especially if you enjoy chasing numbers in combat. Final Fantasy 16 uh, features an arcade mode, allowing players to run through the stages. They already completed, this time with the on-screen score calculator and combat grader. But a new game plus playthrough opens up two additional versions. Here we go. This is exactly what I want to get clarification on. One, uh, on one of the base difficulties, if you like, if you're missing a lot of features intended for new game plus, if if you're after treasures and miss, or you miss, you miss, or a PlayStation trophy you didn't collect, stage replay might suit your needs better. If you're after some combat training or a speedy, destructive action fix, there's a special training mode accessible through a statue quest, Arete Stone, within the Clive's main hub. New Games Plus lets you play through Final Fantasy 16 with all your previously unlocked abilities and gear from the jump, but the highlight is the Final Fantasy mode. The increase, it, this increases the game's difficulty, changes monster placement, mix, remixes which enemies might appear in combat. Um, the main uh, design philosophy is that the first playthrough is about learning Clive, learning controls, and enjoying the story, Suzuki says. The second playthrough, we want to shift that focus, because the story hasn't changed to the action. For example, in story mode, players may encounter waves of enemies, and a lot of times, enemies don't attack at once, to allow players to be able to handle everything. In the harder modes of the game, we have removed these limitations so that you have multiple enemies all attacking Clive at the same time. Ooh, that's going to be sick. Basically, what we've done with Final Fantasy mode is get players controlling Clive the sunset. They're always in danger, that death is around the corner, and that you need to really, really pay attention to be able to clear the content. In the Final Fantasy mode you know, game plus playthrough, by interacting with the Inrethi Stone and the hideaways, you can complete Final Fantasy mode difficulty stages in arcade mode, or even more difficult variant called Ultimaniac mode. Arcade's mode global leader boards will only be active, active in these two modes. Oh, so you got to play Final Fantasy mode and Ultimaniac mode to have leadership boards. Okay, so if you guys play on story or action, ain't gonna count. You can't. No, you can't do that. It's in the other two modes. I Apparently, according to this. These modes were pretty much cre created solely for hardcore players, those players that pride themselves on their skills in action games, Suzuki says. Nothing that noting that only exclusive player rewards players can earn from these player modes is pride. It's a challenge that even for them is going to be very difficult to complete. And Final Fantasy and Ultimaniac mode are just two things waiting in you and more challenging run on New Game Plus. New Game Plus also allows you to, to upgrade your weapons further beyond what you can in the initial playthrough. You can play, you can also upgrade accessories which only avail possible in the game and Final Fantasy mode playthrough of the game. So Final Fantasy mode you can play through the New Game Plus. You also gain access to the final Chronolith Trials, or if you're not in Final Fantasy mode, just Chronolith Trials. These trials are the most challenged, difficult challenge in Final Fantasy 16, Takei said. 
says that they consist of multiple stages, each with four rounds of enemies. The first three rounds will be standard ways of monster, each increasing in difficulty as you progress. The fourth round, however, will feature a boss. Chronolith trials are also time trials, and every stage contains a list of moves, combos, objectives. You can execute the game more time. However, pulling these off won't be easy because there's no healing in these trials. Save for recovery that immediately begins after activating any limit rate move. This chronolith trial is based on an icon. I watched Takai and Suki, Suzuki play through Phoenix trial by fire. In it, you only have access to the Phoenix abilities. Ooh, iconic abilities, forcing you to play much different than you would, you might, outside these trials, where you can mix and match iconic abilities on the fly. Like arcade mode, the chronolith trials contain a global, a global leadership leaderboard but only in final fantasy mode as you play through the game you'll find stones similar in appearance and ready stone interacting these unlike the chronic chronolith trials for you to complete that's awesome that's awesome give us more to do if you want a challenge do these trials test your abilities test your skills this is great i'm loving this i can't go hands-on with any of the of this end game content but I watched Takai and Suzuki play a blistering, uh, chaotic, fast-paced, sure to bring the challenge fans of Devil May Cry might expect, as Suzuki also helped design combat in Devil May Cry 5 for Capcom. Okay. Well, there you go, folks. That's what I want to cover. So we got all the information that's out there, other than I, I'm not covering up the lore, I'm not covering any of the story. I want to go through this game, the demo, and the game as blind as possible. Yes, I know some spoilers. I am not going to say any kind of spoilers in this in this in this video or any videos leading up to the demo. Um, so no worries there. Everything we saw today in this video was the B-roll footage. It didn't show a whole lot. So if you guys don't want to watch it, I recommend you not. Um, but it's great. This is great stuff so far. And everything I told you guys is confirmed by the devs. It's on the Game Informer website. So what I do is I'll have that in the like, description below. So you guys can look at all the information you want. But it's looking very good. Like, we don't have open world. It's semi-open. Uh, using the world map. Uh, again, there is no airships. Uh, any boats or any other vehicles outside of chocobos and running around are going to be cutscenes only. Which makes sense. It's not open world. Um... Just know that the game isn't just 35 to 40 hours. It's 40 to 50 hours. This story alone. So you think about it's going to be probably 80 plus hours to do everything. Um, the end game content sounds very sick. Everybody can challenge themselves. They got new game plus. That's what everybody wants. Um, so yeah, this is looking very good. It's looking very banger. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know in the comments. Are you guys still hyped for Final Fantasy 16? What do you guys think of the footage? What do you guys think of this information I have given you? I figured I'd just cover it today. Leave it on my podcast tonight. I just want to focus on PlayStation Showcase. What I thought. My honest opinion. What what I expect from Sony moving forward. So what I said, hope you guys have a wonderful day. A wonderful night. Keep on keeping on. I'll catch you all on the podcast. What I said, I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Take care.